years. Many years ago, as I walked into my office, I was met by a parent that was distraught. And she had a tear-stained face, and she was clutching onto a wadded piece of paper. As I began to hear her story, I heard that this mother had spent an enormous amount of money on a prom dress that the daughter didn't even wear. The mom didn't have the money to spend on the prom dress, but she kept saying, I thought if I bought it, it would fix it. See, this mom had a broken relationship with her daughter, and she was going through all sorts of ways to try to fix the relationship that had been broken. The problem was a credit card couldn't fix what had been going on between them. In fact, the mother was missing the target completely, and she didn't even know it. There's a passage in Psalm 127, 3 through 5, that says this, It says, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. I've read this verse before, but as I started thinking about it, our children are arrows. And it's easy to begin to think of a bullseye, of where we want our arrows to go. And... It's not bad to have dreams for our children, but very quickly I've noticed um, that it's easy to have our children become the bullseye instead of the arrow. What I mean by that is an arrow can't make it to the bullseye on their own. It's just an arrow. You have to put the arrow into the archer's bow and you release the arrow and the arrow soars towards the bullseye. But if the arrow gets mistaken for the bullseye, it's not going to work the way that it's supposed to work. So often in relationships between moms and daughters, we confuse what the target is and we forget that there is one target that we're supposed to hit for our children. There's one target that we're aiming for, and it's sending them where God has called them to go. We are not going to be able to take our arrow and put it in the bullseye. We have to release that arrow and surrender it to him. We can point them in the right direction. We can pray for them as they go, but our job is to release the arrow. And when we confuse the target with the arrow, we get broken relationships. 